Okay. All right, so this is 1440p, 60 frames per second. I also changed the settings on the VFO to 1440p at 60 frames. Um, so again, I'll probably do like, I'm, you're gonna see guys, you're gonna see a couple of videos uploaded. And I'll probably try my, do my best to edit those, upload as quick as I can over the next few days. Or if I, if I keep doing most of it tonight, I'm not too tired because I still got a long drive back home in the city. So I might do uh, edit a few, upload it. And then I'll put the rest out in a couple of days. I, I'll see how, how it is. But I might do a comparison. First, I'm going to do the um, four. Let's see. So what we got now, the 4K. Earlier, I did the 4K 60 frames. Uh, I mean, 30 frames. And then I did a, a 2K 60 frames. So 4K 30, 2K 60. And um, right now, I'm doing the same thing, but at nighttime. But this is a little, it's a nighttime, but it's with rain. So you just got to take that with a grain of salt, you know, that, you know, it smudges and it's a little, it might be a little blur because of that. So, you know, I, I really, I was hoping it didn't rain when I was doing this video, but this is what you have. So I don't know how much of a difference it'll make when comparing to it not raining. So now... So I got the, so now I'm doing the 1440p at 60 frames per second. And I also changed it on the VFO because what I would like to do is do a comparison um, with the VFO. And I don't know if I'll just do a video comparing the two side by side real quick. And, and then like you guys could just go to the two separate videos, like make a video night video and a day video separately. That's what I probably end up doing. I probably just make those videos separately and then do a side by side. Uh, because the side by side split screen is not going to get the full view, so it's going to be a little hard to really judge. And plus, I have the VFO is also being blocked by the the, the um, next space camera because I temporarily put it there. So, um, you're not really, you, you're going to see that little, like, part on the left screen of the VFO. But I guess you could tell more, more or less. I don't know. Um, the VFO, from what I remembered, uh, it, it's going to pick up more uh, of the darker areas. So, it's going to be brighter. But at nighttime, you really, like, when it's really dark, it's really graining and washed out. So the next space is not as bad. It, I think the next space really, you really see the, um, you can really see the, the I can't explain it. <laughs> it's hard to explain guys. Just, I'm, and I'm also talking just so you guys can hear the sound. So I'm just trying to come up with things to say. Um, but, so I'm trying to explain how the video is it's i feel like the the vfo colors are washed out and grainy at night whereas at daytime it's really 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 good so again i'm doing a drive um I don't know what else to say. <laughs> One of the same car they probably like, what this guy is doing driving around. Um they were all right, so I also, also I, I probably won't do this full route, but I also want to test because I won't really gauge how dark it is. I mean, I have with me, 
I brought my laptop. Uh, I was able to edit some videos. Oh, I'm hanging out with family. Um, second, uh, it's just too much work. But what I, I might do like a quick, uh, maybe not around this whole route, but I'll probably do like a quick uh, video with uh, the, I guess, what's that called? The exposure. In case the video is too dark, I can see how it looks if I make, tweak the exposure a little bit and see if by doing that, if it affects the video. Because sometimes when you use the exposure, it makes the video more washed out. Um, so, so. I'm gonna miss the exposure. I don't know, I'll probably do this up and down instead of like all the way around. And I'll do that with the 4K, not the 60 frames. So I'll do that with the 4K video. Um, just so I can, I don't know if I'll upload that part anyway, but maybe, maybe not. But so going back to what I was saying in the vlog, if you guys watch the whole thing, you guys can skim through it. You do like me where I just watch videos, just kind of gauge. You know, sometimes I watch a whole drive around like this one person I saw um, with, the, with the Garmin dash cam. I think it was a Garmin 55. He did like a, a quite a, quite of a drive. And I just watched the whole thing. <laughs> he was just talking. I was just like, I had to watch it, whatever. Um, and because you because he was driving around and kind of. But I didn't, I didn't like the Garmin because, again, I, the Garmin, I felt like. It was at nighttime, especially because he did the nighttime drive. It felt like it was like a little blurry, like not blurry where it was bad, but it had like a blurry uh, uh, feel to it. So this guy completely ate that uh, stop sign. She was just standing. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up, but she's just standing there like that. Hey, <laughs> um, yeah. So this is pretty much the route. Um, I'll what I'll do is I'll adjust the um exposure, and I'm just gonna go drive down and back around this way. So I go square instead of like the full uh circle and down in town. Just I'll upload it, whatever. I'll see different. I'll put the exposure. I don't know how much adjusted, but I don't know. So I'll, what I'll do is because it goes all the way to six. So what I might do is I might put it at three. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make. Matter of fact, I'll do a three, do a roundabout, and then do a a, a, a six, do a roundabout, and see how that goes. And I'm gonna do it at the four K. Stay tuned for that.